right, so y'all asked for it. Black Widow Taser thing. Commented by Brosnan. Over 500 likes on that. Plus a lot more of you guys asking for the same thing. And with the Black Widow movie right around the corner, I think it's time we make this happen. Also, before I forget, if you guys have an idea of something I should build next, go down to the comments right now, type it in. And also, please upvote other people's comments that you think would be cool for me to make. Like, this feedback really helps me know what you guys want to see. So originally, I wasn't going to do this video just because I've done so much stuff that's similar to it. But after re-watching some of the trailers, I think I've got a good idea. That's gonna make for a pretty sweet video. We're gonna make two different types of bracelets. I think these things are actually called Black Widow Bites. So one's gonna have like the electric knuckles and the other one's gonna shoot an electric dart. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. One more thing though before we get started, y'all should definitely hit me up on Instagram and send me the projects that you've made so I can feature them and help give y'all some recognition that you deserve. Like these guys right now. So follow me at jlazervideo on Instagram. Also hit me up on TikTok. I pretty much just cut these videos down into one minute bites, Black Widow bites. Uh, if you don't have time for the whole thing or just wanna see that recap highlights. All right, first let's do the electric knuckles. And roll clip. So from what I can tell, it looks like she has electricity that's produced by the bracelet that then gets sent up to the knuckles when she wants to throw some hands. I wish I remember this from when I made my last video uh, where I built this taser bracelet. It goes from normal everyday accessory to taser knuckle. It works like most of the time. Sometimes it does shock you though. Ah! Like either way, someone's getting tased. So I'd say it does its job. See what I mean about making stuff similar? Anyways, so I first started out with the CAD. I modeled the bracelet parts. It's like these little tubes that go around the wrist. I tried to do as close as I could to the movies. I'll drop links down below to the STL files. Post it on my website if you don't want to print it and make it yourselves. Also, I should probably mention uh, playing with tasers, you know, pretty dangerous. So obviously be safe. Anyway, so printed out the bracelet and I made it hollow so we could shove lights in them. One trick I found is the lights come out a lot brighter. If you hit the inside with a little bit of metallic spray paint, it reflects a little bit better, it makes it a little brighter. The slots on the side of each of these tubes, we can just slip the LED strips through. Then I attach the whole thing to this like leather type material. Next, I ripped apart the taser and these things are janky by the way. I printed a new housing for it that fits in the bracelet, crammed it all in there and then ran the terminals to my knuckles. and added the switch to the side of the glove. Last thing I did, I had two more strip lights to the top of the glove to simulate like the power flowing up from the bracelet to the terminals. All right, so here's what we got. Right. As you can see, gloves just slips on your hand. And we've got a little Velcro so this piece can just close right up. Just like that. We've got each one of these individual tubes. Got two lights right here and the terminals right here. Button on the side. Does in fact glow blue. We've got both blue coming out of here and we've got coming out of the ends. I think it looks pretty cool. One other thing that I didn't mention, and I don't think the movie even includes, is this thing can actually change other colors besides blue. So you know, we can go red too. Also got the green, can't forget that. And then you can even like mix and match colors. So what if we wanna mix green with blue? We get this sort of turquoise, green with red, sort of this yellowish orange. All right, what if we mix blue with red? Kindergarten, don't fail me now. We get purple, that's right. Main feature, obviously the taser's at the tip right here. The taser's housed in this box down here. So to do that, we just flip the switch. Red light comes on, that's how we know we're armed and ready. And uh, all we gotta do, hit the two top terminals. Taser glove, baby. All right, let's have a little fun with this. Looks sick. Is it actually? Yeah, it looks really good. How's it drip? I can see you like literally melting. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> Does it look cool yet? <laughs> All 
All right, let's do bracelet number two. You're only getting two for one today, so make sure to hit that thumbs up button, please. Really helps, like my last coronavirus-related video, that got taken down, really sucks, I put a ton of work into that. Look at this, it looks freaking sweet. Got lights on it, called it the Rona Blaster. It literally kills the coronavirus with UVC light bulbs. Point is, we gotta make up for it with this one, so thumbs up. Anyways, in one of the trailers, it shows that the, one of the bracelet's features is actually like, shooting a dart that looks like it electrocutes some guy. Not sure if this is built into the same bracelet, but for this one, I'm gonna build another bracelet to go on my other wrist. Let's use the same light method that we did in the previous one. So print out a bunch more tubes, stick some lights in them, but uh, here's how we're gonna make it shoot electric darts. So I took a disposable camera and harvested the capacitor. This thing is used to power the camera's flash, but uh, it puts out a powerful shock if you short the terminals. Also took out the charging circuit. We're gonna integrate that in the bracelet too. Then I built the capacitor into a dart with two metal prongs at the tips, each connected to the leads of the capacitor. So now when you get hit by this, you don't just have to worry about the dart sticking in you. You also get a little electric shock sprinkled on top. Once again, I feel like I have to say, don't try this. It's just like a cool engineering challenge. To see if we can bring something from like a fictional movie into reality, baby. Merch link in description though. You gotta admit though, that was kind of a smooth plug. Fire this thing, we're using a flash cotton. This is nitrocellulose, super flammable cotton. And it's gonna act as the propellant. We're making a mini cannon with an arc lighter as the ignition source. You shove a little of that flash cotton down the barrel, press a button, boom, there we go. Firing in three, two, one. Jesus. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Um, what should we shoot it at? <laughs> oh. Any volunteers? That's funny, uh, I heard somebody what? come down the stairs. I didn't hear anyone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! I wasn't holding on to that God. too tight. Two, one. Oh! Did that hit you? Yeah. Holy oh shit. my God! Oh. It's this bleeding! Is... No way. Yes. Lastly, to recharge each shot, I took the camera charging circuit and crammed it into the bracelet. Now when you stick the dart into these two ports, press a button, it charges up, and you're ready for the next shot. So here is the electric dart blaster. And it fits around your wrist like such. Also got the lights just like the other one. But where this one differs, obviously it shoots a taser dart. So the way this works, as you saw, the barrel is right here. Inside there, you've got the uh, arc lighter trigger switch. Just goes out to your hand, just kind of grab onto it. A little push button. And then this is our dart. We've got the capacitor in the body. We've got this foam in the back to make sure it flies straight. And again, we've got the two prongs on the tip right here. Those are both connected to the capacitor leads. So the way that you charge this, but there's two little ports right here on the side of the box that houses the arc lighter. So this dart just plugs right into these two ports. And then we can press this little button down in here to charge it up. Now it's charged up, so we can just disconnect it. And then if we touch this to something metal. Oh, there it is. We get ourselves a nice little spark. So once this is all charged up, the way to load it, just grab a little bit of this flash cotton, pop it down the barrel. You're gonna load it right now, but you would just load the dart in and then you just press the button. And then it shoot. That's how it works. All right, let's test this out for real. Yo, what are you gonna wear? I don't think I have any black leather pants. Oh, what is this? <laughs> Put on these. Is this what the people want? <laughs> no. All right, loading the first one in. Whoa, almost touched me there. <laughs> Everyone loves this sort of stuff. All right, that should be good. Shades on. How's it look? Does it look like we're just in my backyard or no? no? no. Honestly though, no. have you seen the movies before special effects? I have. We look cooler than that. All right? <laughs> we look way cooler than that. We're gonna come back, we're gonna film this at night. It'll look sweet. And cut. Doesn't look cool. <laughs> really? I think it looks better when you're No, still. good try though. Fist bump? <laughs> Fist bump?
All right. <laughs> so there we go. Black Widow bites, whatever you want to call them, we did it. So as I said, drop your ideas down below for what you want me to do next. Like, subscribe, follow me, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, and send me your videos of stuff that you've made. Pretty happy with how these came out. I think they look sweet. I think they look pretty similar to the movies. And of course, they work. So thank you guys very much for watching. We will catch you guys in the next one.